Even though Clix is a totally competent player, having a strong mentality is a skill of its own for solos, and Clix slightly falls behind on that. I'm sure you've heard the news. NRG Esports recently signed Clix. Now, they might just have the most stacked roster, but the pickup has led to many people asking this. Who's the best player on NRG? Well, there are a lot of great contenders. Epic Well, I mean, we got Zayt, Unknown, but you know, when it comes to raw individual talent, man, we really think it comes down to either Clix or Benji Fishy. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, man. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back. Welcome back to another comparison video. Today, it's going to be Clix and Benji that we're going to put against each other. All right. We actually already compared these two iconic players six months ago, but a lot has changed since then. New tournaments have happened. You know, they got new teammates. And so we thought it was about time for a rematch. So we're gonna decide who's better. We're gonna, we're gonna go through five different categories, mechanics, solos, team play, game sense, and the clutch factor. And so we're gonna be handing out between one to 10 pro guys points for each of their skills in each category. And at the end, we're gonna add everything together and we're gonna see who comes out on top. All right, bunch of crunch army. It's about that time. I'm so hyped. Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that. the world bunch of crunch and let's get this going who in the heck does it so before we start if you can like the video and check to see if you're subbed to the channel okay it'll mean so much to us because we're almost at that 800 000 milestone also we're curious to see you know what you think who's gonna win this matchup so type either clicks or benji fishy in the comments below to leave your prediction all right guys so first up We've got mechanics, which mainly include aiming, building, editing, and movement. And already, this is an extremely tough comparison. Benji and Clix are two players at the very, very top of the mechanics totem pole, okay? In fact, they 1v1'd each other at least a couple of times in the past, and the results were always dead even. Clix will dominate on NA servers. Then they switch to EU, and Benji destroys him here. When it comes down to it, they both have some of the best creative warrior capabilities. They land their shots almost every single time, and they can both edit faster than what seems humanly possible. Man, they're nuts. Getting into the nitty gritty of it, all right, what separates Benji and Clix's mechanics? All right, let's break it down. Well, Benji plays on a slighter, you know, higher sense than Clix, which we feel gives him an advantage on editing speed. I'm so good. No, 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 no. Holy I'm so good. Seriously, his edits are so quick, bro. However, high sensitivity can be tough to control as well, and we notice that it'll sometimes lead to Benji making some mistakes. But honestly, that only happens like 1% of the time, so it's a minor inconvenience at the most. And on the other hand, Click Sense is more in the mid-range, and because of that, he has a much more smoother playstyle. His edits feel more deliberate and systematic than Benji's, right? It's as if he's not trying to perform them as quickly as possible. He's just trying to make sure that they're successful. Now, when it comes to weapon aim, these two are pretty much both at the same level. They're pros, right? But somehow, Benji has some of the best high sense aim we've ever seen, especially at close range. Yet, it's not like Clix is behind them or anything like that. You know, all in all, really, these guys are both top-notch aimers. Finally, what we think separates Clix from Benji the most is movement. I just don't think we've ever seen a pro with such an absolute master over their character's movement. Clix has come up with some of the most innovative peaks like we've ever seen. The way he uses crouching, you know, right hand peaks, diagonal sprints, and even jump shots really show that Clix is and always has been ahead of the curve. And really, this doesn't surprise us at all, considering how much box fighting experience Clix has. Overall, when it comes to building and aiming, we think Clix and Benji have similar styles on the same level. When it comes to editing, Benji's quicker, but that can also sometimes backfire. And what separates them the most is movement, where Clix comes out on top. So for mechanics, we're gonna give Benji nine points and Clix a perfect 10. All right, hang in there, guys. We're just getting started. <laughs> this next category, my friends, come on now, is solos. How well do Benji and Clix play when it's just them in what's considered the roughest, toughest, and most tilt-inducing game mode? 
Well, Benji's already considered to be one of the best solo players in all of Europe. He's got the complete package. He really does. He's a god tier W keyer. He can play in games like a monster and his ability to adapt to tough situations is next to none. But Clicks has definitely got the package too. His play style is so multi-dimensional, man. Like he never relies on a single strategy or setup to win. But instead, he can use whatever loadouts or items he's given to be the best in the lobby. However, when it comes to their mentalities, all right, Benji's sort of an anomaly. Every time he gets frustrated, I mean, he does a fantastic job of just brushing it off. He tilts in the moment, but he doesn't allow it to affect him in the next game. It's as if tilting is just somehow a non-issue for him. Wow, impressive. But contrary to that, Clix is the type of player to often get very emotional. Like, <laughs> we remember once he got stream sniped during a cash cup, but instead of just moving past it, he let his emotions run wild. No, oh, man! This is griefing, bro! This kid's in the stream, bro! He's in my stream, dude! For the remainder of the event, that tilt affected Clix's performance. He took fights he shouldn't have, he didn't play them to his fullest, he kept thinking everybody was a stream sniper. Even though Clix is a totally competent player, having a strong mentality is a skill of its own for solos, and Clix slightly falls behind on that. Bro, nervous, Clix. Yeah, I am, bro. Get it. Shut, get on my head. Shut up. All right, but what about their placements? Here we go. Well, Benji averages around 16th in solo events, while Clix is barely above him with an average of 19th. While Clix's results are obviously very impressive, Benji's got him beat fair and square. So for solos, we're giving Clix an eight and Benji, well, he gets a perfect 10. All right, my friends, the next category, yo, it's a big one, man. But before we get into that, just a reminder that by signing up at ProGuys.com, let me tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna get exclusive access to Benji Fishy's late game course that teaches you how to dominate just like him. Plus, we've got guys by Mongrel, Letchy, as well as live coaches on standby waiting to help you improve. So check it all out and a lot more. Follow the link in the description or visit ProGuys.com, all right? All right, here we go. Bunch of Crunch Army. Okay, moving on. Let's take a look at one of the most challenging aspects of the game, team play. How good are Clicks and Benji when it comes to things like communication, strategy execution, and teammate synergy? First, let's just start with Clicks. I'm not gonna lie, all right? Historically, <laughs> he's been the most ideal teammate. When you look at his past, even going back to the World Cup qualifiers, Clicks was always the type to argue, right? Which led to many falling out. <laughs> like, his time was skeptic. That while successful, ended somewhat kind of prematurely. Or the infamous duel with Kanata that pretty much everyone saw incapable of lasting for more than a month. Was it because Clicks was egotistical? Possibly, but I think it was more due to him just being stuck in the solo mindset. And when calls would be made, or his teammates would be in a particular spot, he would just ignore that altogether and just do his own thing. Definitely not a model playstyle for team base modes, I'll tell you that. So, you know, we give credit to where credit is due though, all right? Clicks has improved leaps and bounds playing trios with his new teammates. He's the fragger on the squad. Let me tell you this, that is not an easy role to have, all right? The team depends greatly on him. Sure, he'll get supported, but it's really up to him to land those shots and really outplay opponents. So, you know, in all of that, Clicks has been doing really, really well. Plus, <laughs> he's been way more attentive, proactively asking for call outs and respecting each of his teammates' roles to the fullest extent. Oh, no, on me, on me. I'm rotating, I'm rotating. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Look, we need to land on this, we land on this. What's above, what's above? Nice. <laughs> but when it comes to Benji, there isn't really much more to say that hasn't really been said before. Ever since he burst into the scene, he's been praised for his teamwork. His callouts are some of the best out there. He's always willing to listen to plans and execute strats, like with no problems. In terms of teams, hmm. He's been a part of so many successful groups. His time with Mr. Savage was so exceptional. It was so cool, man. It's part of what made him famous, really. Then he became part of the MMB trio with Mitro and Mongrel. He had a crazy win streak, and now MMB is widely considered to be one of the best teams in Fortnite history. Nowadays, he's back with Mr. Savage and Lechi, and as you can guess, they're out there slaying the competition. Overall, with how much Clicks has improved, you know, we're gonna give him eight points. But with Benji being Benji, and the long history he has when it comes to being a top teammate, he ends up with nine.
Next up, my friends, it's game sense and knowledge. How smart are Clicks and Benji when it comes to things like decision making, outplaying opponents on the fly, and staying on top of the meta? Well, Clicks is sort of a meta master, really. This guy, he always seems to be on the forefront of the new techniques. Like, for instance, let me tell you this, wall replacing. He was doing that way back in the day before anyone really, really understood how it worked or how effective it really was. And then months later, he popularized the top right triangle edit, or as he calls it, the peanut butter, as this one completely changed how everyone played box fights. Basically, I'm trying to say that when it comes to game knowledge and setting the meta, Clicks has always been one of the best out there. I could keep going on, but let's talk about actual game sense. So, if you watch him play for more than like a few minutes, it's actually really no secret that Clicks really, really knows what he's doing. He excels at things like know when to fight, knowing when to disengage, reading his enemy's next move, and so on and so forth, man. Okay, just take a look at this example of how he gets his opponent to peek by using his teammate as bait. It's actually really clever and something most people would never expect from Clicks. But when it comes to Benji Fishy, we feel like his overall game knowledge is less on the forefront than Clicks. Don't get me wrong, all right, Benji can pull off everything Clicks can do. Trust me, I get that. But it's never felt as if, you know, he was ever a pioneer like Clicks was. However, okay, a big however here, <laughs> Benji's game sense when it comes to overall battle royale gameplay is just out of this world. He's always making the right moves. I mean, that's just pretty obvious given his success in every single mode. And what I feel Benji excels at the most is his positioning. It's as if he's always in the right place at the right time before a fight or during one. Also, he's utterly insane when it comes to reading enemies. Yes, I just used the word utterly. It just came out. I don't know, sorry. I'm sure you guys know what peace control is, right? Well, Benji might just be the best peace control master like in the world. He can sense which way you're moving in a fight, block you off, and then finish you before you even realize what happened. And that's a skill not many players have. Even compared to all the other pros out there, very, very, very few really come close to match the game sense Benji Fishy has. And overall, yo, we're giving clicks eight points for game sense and Benji a solid nine. For our last category, my friends. All right, we've got like one of the most important factors that you can have, ladies and gentlemen, it's the clutch factor. Between Benji and clicks, who's better at making the best out of a lousy situation? Well, Benji is no stranger to clutching up. Throughout his past, his team always seems to like rely on him the most to make those clutches. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just his survival skills, naturally just making him the last one left or, you know, just being able to wrap things up. But either way, this guy's a beast, period. Holy. Fifty months. Nice! Nice! nice. Bro. Can I finish this, bro? Oh. Yeah, just let- Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Clicks clutching, on the other hand, is just extraordinary. I really don't even think I've seen another pro clutch prominently as Clicks does. I really don't know what it is, but when the pressure gets going, whew, it's as if Clicks kicks into another drive, man, and he just starts popping off like nobody else. Seriously, if you search clicks clutching on YouTube, you're gonna get so many results. You're gonna get compilations, montages, man, it's just ridiculous. He's a clutching monster, and really, we don't really see many other pros having the same clutch factor as clicks. All right, guys, so for the final category, we're giving Benji nine points, but clicks happens to be just slightly more impressive, so he's gonna get 10. All right, guys, <laughs> it's about that time. After adding up all the points, all right, the results are clicks with 44 points and Benji, what you think he got? He got 46. It was super close, man, almost to the wire. These guys are both so good. We didn't even go below eight points in any category. But overall, Benji's the better player in our eyes, all right? You might disagree, and if you do, all good, man. We're still family. So feel free to let us know your thoughts below, all right? All right, guys, once again, it's your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Remember to like the video, you know, subscribe to the channel and don't miss out. We got so much great stuff coming out. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments or on our Discord what comparison you want to see next. Once again, man, hey, man, keep going. Never give up, never surrender. Bunch of Crunch Army, let's get it.